What's going on? I'm Alex. That is me, this guy right here, and I am on your screen. We are uh, tweaking on some stuff real quick before we start playing. Everybody that's got CS that wants to play, go on and load your game up and get ready. We're just checking on some stuff real quick, some economy-based stuff. We'll be tweaking on it throughout the evening as we go. Caden, what's going on? Ah, shit. So going into the next round, I have... 2250. Let's actually keep doing this. Just run into mid and kill me. So I'm going to buy as I normally would, but then just die without getting a kill. I want to see what my lowest economy possible could be. No, my so, like, no, from here, fight. let's say I would get this and armor. So that puts me down to 200. And then he's going to fucking blow my brains apart here. Terrorists win. And that keeps me loud right straight back to 2200. So I might need to increase the round loss bonus thing just a little bit. So let's say, let's say I decide to save this round. I'm like, all right, well, I need to save. I don't have any money. I'll grab a P250. That costs 300. Boom, go back to middle. Where you at? There we go. Boom. Oh, no, I died again. That gets me 4,100. So now I can full buy. So let's say I full buy. Grab some utility. And then I run back to mid and get fucking demolished again. <laughs> Now I have 2,300. Okay, so I need to increase. The consecutive. Round loss bonus. We'll put that. In. This is easy. We kill them Four and then we go home. And we'll put the start money. 500 would be a P250 in a flash, but you still can't buy armor. Or you could get a smoke and that's it. So let's go with that. Our max money is set to 10,000 because there's only three of us, so it's not like we're buying for the whole team if we get into a weird economy situation. Um, but other than that, I think we'll be good to go. So let's... Uh Go on and drop out here. Go on and invite all the peeps just to let them know that we're on in case they didn't see. I still don't know why this thing won't go away. Oh, I didn't get Skull. He's not on my Larry, is he? All right, we sent the invites to everybody, but yeah, this I don't know why this won't go away over here. Let me see if I can look at that in the meantime. here oh we could just do at the end of this we could just go like so and that was boom let's try that There we go.
Because I was late. I was, what, three minutes late? Shit. I was here. I was fixing those damn commands so we didn't have to do it on a... Oh, you're good, Damien. We were just shooting invites to everybody that earlier had mentioned they might be on or whatever just to let them know. Let them know we were here. Let them know we were good. Sure, Onion's going to be on the way. Fire will probably be on the way when he gets done with whatever he's doing. I guess in the meantime, let's do a little deathmatch action to warm up. How about that? I need to change my shirt, man. I got the damn transparent shirt on over here. <laughs> Oh, boy. Let's roll. Alpha, what's going on, buddy? Trying to play some Counter-Strike? I didn't buy a weapon before I moved because I'm not very smart. Well, I can do the bonus weapon or not. She is. Enemy team leads at halfway. Damn it, I did it again. Nope. Oh. Oh my god, that guy wouldn't die. 97 and 4? Good grief. Ah, compote, I hate it, man. It happens like that. It'll get better, though. It'll get better soon, too. Won't even take that long. It'll feel like it's going to take forever, but... Things will be looking up for you know it. Why have I got a hundred ping? Oh, I got you, Tom. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That's no good. Hopefully they uh they get to be doing better soon. Can't even imagine. I got you, Combo. Yeah, I hope so too, man. Enemy team has 10 frogs left. Nice shot. Yeah, that is uh... Definitely not a fun time. Glad his uh, physical injuries aren't that bad, though. That's important. That'll make the, the mental aspect of it hopefully a little bit easier for him. Because he's not dealing with the, the physical pain. Got smoked by that bot right at the last second. Oh man. What's with this hundred ping, man? I'm not Wayne. Oh, 
Ooh, my little streaming PC is throwing out some heat right now, boy. Yes, first frag goes to your team. Yes, yeah, like for like a like propane or about that it's my understanding is you gotta you gotta fuck up pretty bad to get a propane tank to detonate in some kind of way not that your friend fucked up or did anything wrong but like i mean somebody's gotta like that the tank has to be mismanaged somebody has to have like dropped it uh on like the valve or something like that or like something was wrong um Cause yeah, to get and to be in a situation where it would uh, like, cause I, propane's a lot like gasoline. It doesn't like explode, explode like a bomb, but it's just a very, very rapid fire that, of course, expands very quickly. Um, so like, to get it to do that is uh, yeah, something had to be bad wrong with that tank to get it to uh leak in such a way and not ignite until it it fills up you know that's crazy oh absolutely oh you damn sure can't you you, you don't want to ever use a propane propane heater or device or anything in indoors you definitely want to be outside just in case there is some kind of leak or anything like that you just wait a couple seconds you know and it'll just dissipate in indoors it can't the gas doesn't go anywhere that's scary why do you have a pro he, he didn't have a propane tank inside, did he? It blew up his house? Nice Holy doctor. shit! I didn't know. Yeah, that's all right. That's not a good idea. I did not know that because I, I mean, well, at least in the, the U.S. around here, I mean, we only ever use them in, in outdoors situations. I'm sure there are some, like, industries that use propane. Because, like, don't forklifts, some forklifts run on propane. I, I don't know. But either way, um, there's not, yeah, we're not using them inside a lot around here. So I didn't even think about that. Uh, and I didn't know that, so I, I learned something new. Um, but that's crazy. Yeah, you, the, just using a, the idea of using a propane tank inside is, oh, that's scary. Because, <laughs> yeah, if there's any kind of leak at all, especially if it's a slow leak, it's hard to detect. Uh, propane definitely does, well, I actually don't think propane has a smell to it, but they add it. They, they add a smell to it um, so that that way you know. I might be wrong about that. I might be mixing that up with something else, but um, but if it's a slow leak, it's definitely hard to detect. And then, yeah, if any type of flame or whatever, and boom, it goes up.
But yeah, that's a. Uh... Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even know about that, man. That's a. Uh... I'm trying to think. I mean, really, I don't. I don't know if that's something that local governments can do or whatever in those countries because like you said i mean if they're using them like for you know the stove in the kitchen but that's i mean you got to have the tank outside and run the lines in to the you know because like my parents have a, a gas stove it's a natural gas but uh they have a gas stove um but the tank is outside you know and the, the lines running to the stove are you know the amount that's allowed, even if you turn it all the way on, the amount of gas that's allowed to flow through is relatively low. And like I said, it's got an additive in it, so you can smell it. So if there's any kind of leak, you're gonna you're gonna know. Um, well, and see, that's crazy too, because like to me, that sounds like a. Uh, I mean, from the way I look at it, that's a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't I can't think of the, the word. Just jumped completely out of my head. Um, But, like, that's an organizational thing. Like, it wouldn't be more expensive um, if it wasn't allowed to start that way in the first place. It, it's, I guess, is what I'm saying. Um, if, if they didn't, if that hadn't become like the norm, like if it wasn't the normal thing to have the gas stuff, it wouldn't be super expensive to do like a gas stove or whatever, or uh, sorry, an electric stove or whatever, because everybody would have one. So the prices would be down. But since not a lot of people have them, they're expensive. And I mean, not, not, we're not going to get into, like, politics or anything like that, especially global politics, but I guess it's more, my thought is, like, that's that's a government issue. That's a process problem because that needs to be, like, you know, if the electric stoves are so expensive and it's causing, you know, potential dangerous situations like what your friend was in, it seems to me like the government would need to be like, okay, well, we're going to put a cap on the cost of electric stoves for a period of time so that you know what i mean just something i don't know like but yeah that is a that is a major major safety problem there that indoor propane tanks for cooking i didn't even i'm, I'm gonna have to look into that like read about that to see if I've never thought of that. That's so crazy to think of that, that, I mean, your friend had this horrible accident, like you said, uh, somebody, you know, passed away and that's horrible. And it's like crazy because like, I've never even heard of that being a thing. It's, it's just wild how the world is, you know, like it's, that's so crazy. I, I hope your friend starts doing better, better soon. I oh, I, I, I mean, I know what a propane tank explosion looks like. I wasn't saying I don't know that. I'm saying I didn't know that that was a normal having a propane tank indoors for cooking. I, I had no idea that that was a thing at all. I, I didn't know that. And the, and the fact that it's cheaper than than an, to getting an electric stove. Almost. Because, like, here, that is not the case. Like, if you had a regular propane tank, like what we get, like what I have for my grill in the backyard, like, if if I had to get one of those to cook dinner, like, I'd have to be, I'd be exchanging a propane tank a week. That would be, like, $30. And that's just to cook. Like I don't, I, I don't pay that much in electricity. One I mean, because I'm trying to think. So if that was like thirty dollars a week, that would be one hundred and twenty dollars a month just in propane. Probably, and I'm just guessing. But I mean, we're talking hundred dollars a month in propane. That's how much I pay for electricity for my whole house. Like, so it's crazy that it, the price difference here is that it's cheaper to do it that way there, and here it's the other way around. Damn chat won't scroll.
Oh yeah, well that boost that's just gas gaseous materials in general if they're if they're flammable and they're allowed to leak into an enclosed space, you know, like like inside of a house or something like that. Any little thing, man. And I mean, how often is it that sometimes like say you go to plug in your vacuum and and the button got hit. So your vacuum was the, it was in the on position when you plugged it in. You ever do that? You plug in the vacuum and you're like, "Oh shit." Like You know, imagine like, you know, when you plug it in, that little spark that sometimes happens by the plug, like, that shit could just, your house would just explode. Like, that's fucking crazy. I would just buy a microwave and just, that's, that's how I would cook all my food. I, I couldn't do that, man. That's wild. I'm so sorry that, that happened to your friend, man. That's like, fuck, that's so crazy, dude. Kill goes to the enemy team. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like any type of any type of static or or whatever. Yeah. Damn, shuffle your feet across the carpet and touch something. Yo. Who uses an auto in deathmatch? Like, what are you even? The enemy team is leading. Like, you're not going to get kills fast enough to win the game with it. And, like... It's not... And if you use deathmatch for, like, warm-up, practice, or whatever, like, it ain't helping you with that using an auto. I don't want to hear shit now, Wayne. I'm on 100 ping. <laughs> ah, you motherfucker. <laughs> Where did you go? Well, that's about as what it costs here, Compa. I'd rather have that than my house blow up. That's about what we got ours for um, when we had to replace the one we had. And well, believe me, not that I'm trying to compare or anything like that, but I, I believe the, the U.S. has made out uh, to be a lot better financially than it is around the world, uh, and uh, propaganda helps with that. The vast majority of people here are actually behind, what I call behind paycheck to paycheck, is not only are we living on a day-to-day, -day, like buying our groceries paycheck to paycheck, but we're also, almost all of us are in a ridiculous, crazy fucking amount of debt. So, like, imagine your day-to-day -day bills being, you know, you're on a, in a paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck situation, and you owe $25,000 for your car, you owe $70,000 for your student loans, you owe $150,000 for your house that was, you know, $200,000 overpriced. Like, yeah. And then all of our fucking 
whatever propaganda and bullshit going, oh, America's the richest country in the world. No, like eight people in America ha are the richest, and the rest of us are beyond fucked. Your enemies have reached halfway. And that debt situation is there to keep us that way. Yep. Oh, yeah. See, it ain't just, uh, it, it ain't even, it's, it's the whole fucking world. It's, it's not even a, a country specific thing, honestly. It's the fucking greedy ass dog shit rich motherfuckers. They just take from everyone else and don't give a fuck about other people. And they don't even care about what's left behind after they die either. They're not even like cared about a legacy. At least some of the fucking crazy rich people are. But most of them are just, like, out to gain as much power and fuck over as, as many people as they can for the time that they're here. It's, like, it's crazy as shit. Honestly, it's one of those things that, like, make you want to, like, and, and I'm not questioning anybody's beliefs or anything like that, but, like, if that's one of the things that kind of pushes people towards religion because it's, like, including myself, because it's, like, how could anybody be this evil? You know, like there's just these evil motherfuckers and you think, how could they exist? It has to be like Satan. <laughs> like they can't, there's no fucking reason for people to be this goddamn evil. Like it's the craziest shit, but yet here we are, you know? And there's no explanation for it, but people look for one, you know? People are like, what, you know, what causes people to be this evil? They're just assholes. It's that simple. They're just assholes. They're just terrible. They find joy in hurting other people. Let's go get fixed one of these days. Yo, Oh, Kampo, you're damn right. That's why I love Reddit so much is because it's it's like a news site in that you get like up-to-date stuff and articles and everything that's going on but like you can subscribe to the shit you're interested in so like you know counter-strike for example like i follow the counter-strike subreddit so i get news and information and funny memes and shit like that about counter-strike and like you know nascar indycar f1 uh, wrestling, UFC, like all the, you know, things that I have interest in or whatever. So I get news about shit that I care about and not shit that I don't care about. And if I want to go look at, like, current events just to, so I, because I do like to kind of keep an eye on what's going on, but I don't, I don't, like, bury myself in it at all. I know people that do. Uh, I just, I look at it and I go, some stupid motherfuckers. And I go, but at least I know it's happening, you know, in case there's anything I need to be ahead of. Um... But I'm the same as you, man. I got away from all of that fucking... I don't want to see it. I don't care about people's negativity. Uh, I know my life could stop any day. I mean, everybody's life could stop any day. But I mean... I don't mean dying. I just mean my life as I know it. This stream, playing games with my friends, getting to, you know, do the things that I love to do, working at the racetrack, doing the slide style with you guys, like... That could stop tomorrow for any number of reasons. Could be a financial reason, a health reason, whatever. It could be anything. That shit could stop tomorrow. So I just try to enjoy and live every day as, as best I can um, and, and try not to stress that shit, honestly, because, like, the world is fucking, it sucks. It's terrible, and it's been designed in such a way that we can't do anything to fix it. Um because, I mean, all of us that are here, the reason we're here is because we're all, like, we think the same kind of way. Yogi's here, Wayne's here, Kampo, you're here, like, uh, Damien's here, everybody that's here, like, we all feel this way. Like, I'm preaching to the choir right now. We all, we all feel this exact same way and think the same way. Uh, and I would say, you know, 90% of the world feels the same way that we do. But the problem is... 
is there's just there's enough people that do bury themselves in in the the news stuff and arguing and fighting and all of this shit that they can't see that we're all on the same team it's all about how do how do they get theirs so because you know other people want to fuck them over so i'm gonna fuck them first and like so we can't all join together because like honestly this problem would be solved bro this whole like you know 20 people in the world having all the fucking money that shit would be taken care of in about 15 minutes if we all got together and did something about it but because we can't all get together nothing's ever going to change and we're all going to continue to suffer because we can't join up and this shit sucks Oh, compote! I'll never. I can't even leave the state that I'm in. I tried when I, me, me and Charlie got together, and we decided we wanted to move away. We wanted to get away from where we grew up and just start fresh, start brand new. We made it 30 minutes. I'm like 15, 20 miles from my parents' house. This is as far as we could get. Like the amount of money it costs to just move states. In the U.S., which I, moving states in the U.S. is similar to moving countries in, in Europe. Uh, but as far as travel time and, like, the laws and all regarding, it's it's very similar. Um, and, like, I, it's, it's, like, there's never, there's not a situation in my life ever. Like, I used to have a job that paid pretty decent. And even then, I couldn't have afforded to move move states. Have gotten ahead. Oh, yeah, Wait and like you're me. saying about moving from country to country, and of course there's requirements. A country can't just let anybody come in. Like, you've got you've to bring something to the table as a citizen or a potential Your citizen. So, lane. yeah, to have to, you have to have a degree or a certain job or a certain skill set or whatever. Like, if you don't have that, they don't give a fuck what you do, you know? And, but like you said, I unless you've got lane. money. If you've got money, they're like, oh, give us the money. And yeah, it's just, it's ridiculous. Well, and I don't know if they if it's set up like this uh, in the in the countries y'all live in. But one thing that I know is uh, in the U.S., they they've got everybody tricked into thinking that they're middle class. That's the terminology they use, and that's what they talk about in the news and everything like that. Is just, the the typical American family, or whatever, is middle class. Uh, and the reality of the, the financial situation, like the separation of finances in the U.S., is like what is supposed to be the middle class and what was the middle class like in the 1960s is like 8% of people. So you've got the upper class, the rich people, so like your Hollywood celebrities and all that kind of shit. So you've got like 1% or like 2% or whatever, then you've got another 8%, and then the remaining 90% of the country is like what used to be considered poor. It's now 90% of the country, and they have got these motherfuckers tricked into thinking that they are living that middle-class comfortable lifestyle. I am beyond poor. We are like below the federal poverty level with the amount of income and everything that we have here. It's just... Your boy is slick. I, you know, and I mean, obviously, we we do work hard. It's not that we we haven't worked hard in our lives, but like, I've managed to. I haven't done anything illegal. I'm not saying that, but like, I've made the right moves at the right times, doing the right things or whatever, to be able to get shit that I can't afford. Um, like, when we were in the process of buying the house, both me and Charlie lost our jobs. And, like, I, we were able to work paperwork and move shit around in such a way because we knew we were going to, you know, be okay. We knew we were going to find new jobs and everything like that. But, like, we were, we were in the middle of all the paperwork. Like, they were digging through all of our bank information and our credit history and all of this shit, right? And neither one of us had jobs, and we had to lie about it. <laughs> 
and 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 fucking got away with it. Here we are, five years later. We've got or four years later, still in the house. And of course, we've never met, missed a single payment. We make, you know, we're good on everything. But it's like little shit like that. Like I, I know it may come across, like you know, from stream and everything like that. That because you know I've got this the gaming PC and the camera, the green screen, and all this stuff. It it may come across like like we have money. Like, you don't understand. Like, there's there's times that, and I'm not asking anybody for money. I don't want anybody to think that I'm asking for money because I'm not because we're doing fine. But, like, there there are weeks where, like, like, I just, like, I we joke about butter on a Pop-Tart. Yeah, like, that's the meal that I have for the day is I might have two Pop-Tarts. Like, that's just where we're at, and it's fine. We're, we're working around it. Some days, you know, some weekends when I do the catering stuff, I get good money. And we're all right, and, and Charlie gets extra, you know, she gets a little extra because she's a trainer at her job, so when she's training somebody, she gets a little extra. So we're totally okay. But there's times where, like, I don't even have money for food. Like, and but I'm real good at making making something out of nothing. So, like, I, you know, like I always talk about with my setup here, this is all hand-me-down shit and stuff that I got on sale or, you know, different stuff like that. Um, duct tape and duct tape and zip ties holding this shit all together to make it. It looks nice, even though it's all actually cheap shit. Um, nice shot, my friend. But like, it's just crazy as fuck to me to think that like probably you know seventy, eighty percent of the country I live in is in this situation, and I. I'm not any kind of genius. I'm not, I don't think I'm a very smart person. I just, I like to think I've got a level head on my shoulders. There's a lot of motherfuckers around here that are just dumb. Oh my God, they're dumb. You just see these people and you're like, oh my God, you, you breathe every day. Like, how do you exist? You're so stupid. And it's crazy to think that they have the same amount of money or less than I do. How do they even live if they're that dumb? Like, like I said, I've had to be slick to get into some of the shit that I've got. And like, how do these motherfuckers do anything? <laughs> it's just, it's crazy, man. This whole, our whole shit over here is about to fall apart. Let me catch back up. He says his plan was learn the language, get a job, and live there. But now the plan is to move to the UK and go to the button. Nice oh, job. okay. There you go. Oh, yeah. Well, and that's the thing, too, and, and none of it's a guarantee. So you can go, you could set that plan in motion, and you could, and I'm not trying to be depressing or anything like that, but, like, you could fulfill your entire plan. Like, you could hold up your side of the bargain, and you could still get fucked over. That's the part about it that drives me fucking nuts. I hate it. And, I mean, this goes for everything in life, not even money. I hate it when I do everything right. When I do everything that I'm supposed to do and I still get fucked over. That is, that shit drives me Great up shot. the motherfucking wall. I, oh, I hate it. Yeah, Compo says, yeah, so even, and I'm, I'm so glad that y'all were, that y'all are doing better now than you were when you were younger. It's, it's scary. I'm so, dude, I'm so blessed growing up. My dad had a really good job, like a really good job. Uh, we're, my family is not rich by any means. Um, like I said, we, we have a, a, you know, we've got the lake house. We don't have some $4 million lake house. It's a small little place. It just so happens to be at the lake. Um, and that part of that is because of the way that my dad's retirement stuff is set up. Not that I'm not going to get into all his personal finances, of course. But, like, the guy that, you know, my parents are really good with their money. And the, their guy that does, like, his retirement account stuff, whatever, was like, you need to spend some of this. In order, if, like, there's some type of, I don't know how it works, but the guy told him, they were like, you're not spending enough money to make the most returns on your investments or whatever. And mom and dad were like, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, so, like, I'm very, very blessed that they, you know, have, were, we were very well taken care of when I was younger. Um, but, I mean, like I said, by no means are, are they rich. And, you know, there's, I was just lucky growing up that I, I never had an, we never had an issue with not getting food. And, you know, 
we we didn't have every toy that they that there was and we didn't you know i didn't have like dirt bikes and all this kind of shit but like you know at christmas time we could oh you know santa claus i want to get such and so and 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 my parents would they put it together man and we would we would get stuff for our birthdays and for christmas like we were very very blessed very lucky um and I'm and I'm glad that I had that experience growing up too because like it, it helped me to appreciate what I you know the things that I have and how I live now because if I was just being given everything that I wanted all the time always like I mean I've seen spoiled ass kids it sucks. We have defeated the enemy. Damn, see that, and that's what I'm saying is like your dad he did everything he did everything you're supposed to do. Well, there's nothing else we can do, Wayne. I mean, we can do gun game if you want. But there's only the three of us, because everybody else left. Um. But yeah, your dad did everything he needed to do and still got fucked over. I hate that shit. I'm not doing 1v2s on that damn map. <laughs> we'll do a gun game for a little bit. Boost, we did slide style for like three hours earlier. We had, pra we had practice earlier. And then I cooked dinner, and now we're playing Counter-Strike. Well, we were, I mean, we're just kind of fucking around in Counter-Strike because there's nobody else, <laughs> nobody else in here to play on our, on the maps and stuff. I, I thought Fire was going to be here. I thought he was going to be all, because he was excited about finding those new maps. I was not late, motherfucker. I was here at 1030. And he was nowhere to be found. Oh, this game just started. I've actually got that in my wish list, uh, Compo. I just haven't uh, downloaded it yet. Poor shit. Three and seven? How the hell does that even happen? The Negev should not be in gun game. Oh my god, that's awful. There's 
just throws off the whole flow of everything until everybody's past it. Beat these motherfuckers. We're catching up here. We're catching up. Fuck. Stole that one. I hate the fucking revolver. You asshole! Who the fuck just jumped in? Oh my god. Does this guy think he is? Finally got the lead. Let's see if we can hold on to it here. For long playing like this. Shotgun. Yeah, I ain't gonna live long with a shotgun. That's fucking bullshit. Bring your punk ass back over here. What? Check up on the chat in a minute. Sorry. In the zone. Damn it. What are you? Fuck off. Oh my God. Thank God. Now I'm not going to get the fucking kill. There we go. All right. Oh, why no overlay? What the fuck? Damn. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of Valorant Compote at all. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a shotgun fan or these types of games either, but yeah, definitely not a Valorant guy. Oh, Damien, you wanted to keep doing gun game? Sorry, I just saw that. I'm down for one more round of it. Damien says, stretch it out. Oh, fire's here. Hell yeah. Now we just need one more for 3v3s. Hell yeah. Now you're all good, Confoat. Hey, I hope everything works out, man. I know shit kind of sucks right now, but it's going to look up. There's good days and bad days. The good days are coming. 
Don't even give it a chance. Take the good days. Be like, I'm going to come get me a good day, goddammit. <laughs> Don't let them bad day clouds float over your head. Get that shit up out of here. <laughs> Telling you, Boost. <laughs> I'm going to go change my shirt. This shit's bothering me. The trans I keep seeing through myself, and I think that there's like a hole in my chest or something. All right, be right back. Bam, son. 3,000. Boost, what the fuck? Boy, I have never, I haven't spent more than like $700 on a computer build in my life. We built, uh, well, I take it back. I think we built Charlie's whole computer for 800 bucks. Well, I take that back. We built Charlie's whole computer for like 24 easy payments of $35.95. <laughs> right, we're all, we got everybody but one. We're short one person. All right, what are we what are we doing here? Two v three, it's twenty four seven. Hell, <laughs> well, who are the two then? Me and you? Oh, you and Damien versus the three of us. Carry my at boy. You wouldn't even get a kill. I'll take out the whole other team every time. All right, I'll go me and fire. We got this. Let's do it. All right. On our on our map. We'll start on our map, then we'll try some other ones. But hey, I want to try that the new economy shit, so we'll see what we got. So keep in mind, not regular CS economy. So it was, what did we say? We started with 500. You start with 500. You can only have two grenades. You can't have four grenades. Because think about how small this map is. It's already a wingman map, so it's made for two on two. So with three on three, if everybody has a full buy and full utility, there's just fucking... You could cover the whole goddamn map in smoke and fire in, in six seconds. So it makes you think better. You got to choose your economy more carefully. All right, me and fire, CT side.
thing looks primed and ready to have a sticker put on it. <laughs> Maybe we can up it to three. What is your, what was your plan? Wait. Three is better. May, we'll, we'll see how two plays, and then maybe we'll switch to three. It's all about balance. And also, you could communicate with your, oh, is it set to 30 rounds? It's not supposed to be 30 rounds. Was it again? Can't remember what the fuck the command was. And we just did it earlier. Round where the fuck? Fire, what was that command? Do you remember? Max rounds. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. MP underscore max rounds. Oh, it might be showing that because we're in warm up. No? There we go. Got it hooked up. All right, we're all set here. Go, go, go. That's game sense boost. You don't notice me doing the same shit to them? Oh, these motherfuckers taking taking advantage of economy shit already. Woo! Nice. We've been playing a lot the last few days too, Boost. We know how each other plays at this point. I'm trying to think for my with this new economy stuff. I'm trying to think through it because they're gonna have decent money, not great though. Like they might have an SMG and armor. Go. Nice work. Ooh, Wayne had an AK. See, yeah, this economy shit's going to be interesting because now we've got fucking money. All right, so... Since we only get two pieces of utility. <laughs> since we only get two pieces of utility per round fire, do you want to stick to the, uh, like, damage utility, like the mollies and nades, and I'll stick to the smokes and flashes? Uh, whatever you want. Cool. <clears throat> All right, well, I've got the bomb down here. Nice. Uh, 
That's not good, Boost. Move it, move it. I think I need to bring the round win bonus down by a significant amount. Not get the bounce I wanted out of that. Oh, shit. Oh, he's on the roof. Got it, Wayne. He'll probably get it. He'll be on here at some point, I'm sure. Yeah, the round win bonus needs to go, like, way the fuck down. I need to see what the default is and drop it by, like, a thousand. And then I think we'll be all right. Because the idea is to bring the overall economy, like, the amount of money moving is to just bring it down. Lock and load. Because you don't have as much opportunity to make money off kills. Because there's less players to kill on the server. All right, well, while we're playing, I'll look. Bomb has been planted. If you think. idea what the round win bonus is 1400 income for losing oh we're getting shorthanded money that's why we got so much money never mind i'm not gonna fuck with it then until it's three on three and i can see what it's like without that i wasn't thinking about that part uh let's go That's a good fucking nade. This map is so well designed. Throwing smoke. Counter terrorist win. Nice fire. Fire get all the damn kills, man. No, Caden's game again. Damn. Let's go, let's go. Oh, he joined back. So it just boots you from the server? That's weird. Well, you should be able to join back in. I 
I do like starting with 500, though. So you can buy dualies with that. So I think what I'm going to do we must move. is... Ooh, and that allows you for a tech nine. Nice, but now I have no money. I, I'm digging the 500 as the... Uh-oh. Aiden just joined back in because my screen blinked. Game goes black for one frame when somebody joins your local server. Such a fucking weird game. Scared the shit out of me. Oh, 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 damn it. So we get 1800 for losing. T side, that's not terrible. So I didn't get any kills. Oh, we gained a teammate. Haha, get ready to get fucked, Wayne. <laughs> Oh, no. You're all good, Caden. You could have at least stayed to the end of the round. All right, that's a scout. Well, I mean, what's the weather radar look like, Boost? And also, have you got any friends on, like, uh, like social media or anything saying anything about it? Ah, shit. Well, if it's that close, then you should be able to see the lightning. The thunder's that close to you. I'm digging the economy changes so far. I mean, we're going to have to keep messing with it here, but I might have to play some games with bots and just kind of simulate some some stuff. Oh, that's another thing, though. It's 500 for planting the bomb instead of 300. 
Because in and uh, three on three, it's we usually just end up killing each other. We don't get a lot of bomb plants. So I thought that would kind of be like extra incentive for planting the bomb. Ready? This is gonna be gnarly. All right. Do not want them getting a rifle if they can't afford it right now. Uh, Wayne, I think you're right. I might make it three nades. We'll see. No, but that's the other thing. Nobody ever really uses utility. We gotta step our uh, utility game up here. Open window. Ten and four, appreciate you. Damn it, I hate the thing. Huge. Ah! This fucking guy. Look at this guy. Oh boy, I'm about to have to call a timeout. My stomach just flipped over and said, hey! <laughs> oh, oh shit, yeah, I might need to. All right, hold on. All right, we got to play this round out, but then we'll do it. You guys ready for this? Pause during the next freeze time. All right, cool. Oh my god. All right. What the hell is that all about? Oh. Not happy. Smoke. I don't have the fucking bomb. God damn it. Let's throw it in the Terrorists win. I'll take that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna <laughs> right, run to the bathroom real quick. So uh, it'll be fast, I promise. Give me like two or three minutes. Y'all, uh, here, I'm gonna even do the little be right back thing. I'm so sorry for y'all in the game. Uh, I'll be right back. Or actually, should I go spectate and Caden? Caden, do me a favor. Switch to, switch to the T side. And I'll go, I'll drop into spectator. Yeah, Caden, switch over to the T-side real quick, and then uh, it should just let you do it without killing you, and then we'll restart the game. It does not look like it did. Son of a bitch. I hate that it does that. All right, I got to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
damn, that was annoying. I love you, bitch. I ain't gonna never stop loving you, bitch. Nope. We're back. We ended up winning. We won. It was a T-sided map for sure, and I thought the T-side had us at first, but we ended up winning. And we flushed away. <laughs> I can't think of a way. I was trying to come up with an analogy. Uh, that was horrible. I came out of nowhere, and I'm so sorry. I left you guys hanging. Oh, my God. That sucked. Okay. So anyway, time to, uh, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. I am all screwed up now, man. Whew, that sucked. <laughs> But we're back. Some of them planks. What are you talking about, Boost? Like, what kind of planks? Like a, like a wood plank. I'm so, I'm so confused. It's not in my request thing. And I, I've just, I just had a traumatic experience, and you want me to do that? It's not in my thing, though. All right, who have we got? We got two on two. It's not it like in my reward request thing on my thing. It's not it's not here. So unless I mean cuz Charlie's here unless Charlie uh returned it to you or whatever cuz I was in the bathroom. Um all right. Got to get back into counter strike mode here. Holy shit. That sucked. Nice, Fire. All right, me and Fire versus Wayne and Damien. I used to know a pro wrestler named Damien Wayne. <laughs> I don't know if you can really call him a pro wrestler. Uh, that was mean. I'm sorry.
Damn it. Hell yeah, I want to do that Minecraft map. I was just waiting until uh, I didn't know who all was getting on and everything like that. We're damn sure we'll play that one again. We definitely we should probably do that one as like that one and the uh, the other one. We should do those as like either deathmatch or gun game, though. I wouldn't do them as diffuse maps. Lock and load. No, boost. A Minecraft map for Counter-Strike. This is not good. Damn. Should have money now. Oh, until they fix that fucking... Well, it's two separate problems that I've got with that shit that just so happened to start at the same time. But uh, until they fix that shit with the... Let's go. Well, I guess it is really just one problem. It's that where you can get fucking banned from playing the game like you can get banned off the client for something you do in a private game server like until they get rid of that shit i am not even gonna think about touching that fucking game <laughs> okay. yeah i'm down for uh, i'm down for all of them fire Nope, they're still doing... Uh, if I remember, well, Fire would know more about it because he, he stays up to date on all that stuff. Rebel but um, last go. I knew, they had, like, fucking doubled down on it. And they were like, nope, this is what we're doing, and y'all can kiss our ass. Grenade out. Fire says they made it worse. <laughs> God damn. That's so awful, man. Nice shot. Oh, it says I got him. I thought you got him. What did they do to make it worse? I didn't think it could get much worse, honestly. Short of them, like, fucking perma-banning people for shit that they do in private servers. That would be some shit. A game that you paid money for and you're playing in your own private game that's not, like, a public accessible thing. More... St How the fuck could it be even more... St that's insane. The what's just in Java? Like, so it's not in the bedrock one anymore? Let's get this done. But if they're not doing it with the bedrock one, we can, uh, we might be able to go back to fuck with that. That's just, it's my, oh shit.
That's just my main problem, is the idea that you can get banned from something you do. Because we don't, none of us would ever do any of the things that you can get, you know, banned or, or whatever for, or like temporary bans or whatever. Like, none of us do any of that shit. It's not like that I want to go around calling people racial slurs and putting cuss words on everything and all that. Like, we don't do a whole lot of that shit. But, like, it's the principle of the matter, that it's a game that you paid for, and you're in a private server but you can get banned from all of it, like even private games. Like that's that's just not cool. Like I'm I'm I can't support that. Like that's not something that I want to be a part of. That's my only go, problem. Go, go. So if they're not doing that, like at least with the Bedrock one, then maybe we can fuck with it. But my only thing with that was with the Bedrock thing is, unless I'm misunderstanding, pretty much everybody had access to like creative mode and it was it was nice of them to not do it when we were streaming but i'm pretty sure everybody just had access to that like all the time um which is why i'd leave for one night get back on and the like fucking crazy goddamn shit that would be built the next day and it was like oh i worked on it all night and it's like no yeah <laughs> It's still cool, but, like, the whole thing was that we weren't using creative. And I had to have creative, like, enabled on Bedrock so that I could do shit like admin-y type stuff. Like, when somebody's house got destroyed by a fire or something like that, I could, like, help them put it back together. Um, Throwing Feel free to mute me, Wayne. <laughs> or get voice meter hooked up on your PC and put like Let's go, let's go. Put Discord to like one one ear or something. Hey, we've got important shit to talk about, man. This is Minecraft we're talking about here. Damn it, I was hoping that wasn't going to happen. Ooh, the other thing I like about a 15-round game is that one team has a definite advantage at the half. I like it. <laughs> Boo says, yeah, that's right! Minecraft! <laughs> you don't need to hear anything else! Take a notch out of my nutsack. <laughs> win. I could almost smell what the rock was cooking. That's the whole the beauty of Discord. You can turn me down. Suck my ass! You can't kill me. Yeah. Well, it's kind of shitty when it's just two-on-two, two, Wayne. If it was three-on-three three with 
two piece of utility per player wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Fucking bird. Ah, I still got you. Well, I mean, if it was something exploding boost, if it was some type of violence, you know, like somebody blowing something up intentionally, if the sounds are still happening, if they haven't accomplished the job yet of what they were trying to do, they're apparently not that dangerous because they're not good at their job. So I wouldn't worry about it too bad. I, it probably is just some really aggressive thunder. Maybe it's like really high up in the atmosphere lightning, and that's why you're only hearing the thunder. And that's... It's also probably why it sounds funny. Because it's if it's the lightning's way up, it doesn't sound like normal thunder. That's about the only thing I can think of. All right. We got this. We got this. I've been spending all me money. You guys ready for this? Same good. No! God, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you, Wayne. One more. On that map?
All right, one more on that map. Me and Damien versus you and Fire. And then, uh, then we'll switch over. We'll try the Minecraft one and the. We'll try the other stuff. Come on, Damien, we got this, boy. Me and you. We'll start. We'll start T side. Me and you. We got this. We're gonna plant some bombs, and and get some bitches. A very different, uh, very different Minecraft. You're going to like it. It's fucking cool. It, it's actually really, really, really cool. <gasps> oh, when I was jump spotting you? Yeah, yeah, that was, that was solid. You did. You done good. I do like how they actually kind of set that spot up for jump spotting. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's do one thing. Nice, thing. stuff I'm gonna play this one smart play this one smart yes play it smart let's show them we mean business Should have trusted yourself. You knew he was coming. You were watching it. I hate that shit. You're like, ah, I think I'm looking in the wrong spot. As soon as you look away, that's when they fucking kill you. <laughs> every, I mean, it is every time. Let's go, let's go. I hit fire for 85 with that nade. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, we got we got fucked up that round. All right. We got this. We got this.
Uh. A pirate doesn't say okie dokie then. A pirate says Arr. What's up, Adrian? A pirate does indeed say R. Now we're cooking with gas. Bunny's looking all right, feeling all right. Your contact lens has just arrived. 1-800-CONTACTS. They can't have my brand. I have special eyes. Look. Look. Look, look, look through special your special eyes. scope. My brand. It's Wayne. <laughs> Fuck me. 64. Oh, you can wall bang that. You can wall bang it. Look at the holes in the wall. Look at the holes in the wall. Down. No, down to the right. Look at the holes in the wall. Oh, there he is. Shit. Well, that's why he left, because I was saying to wall bang. <laughs> yeah, I would just hang on to that. my fucking overlay thing is man i'm so excited it finally works right watch this shit look how quick this pops up look at this look at this, look at this. boom armor boom ak look at that so fast Ready? look at this look how fast you can look look at that reload boom <laughs> all right How the hell? Why have you got? Oh, is it doing the thing? Is it doing what it would do to me, Wayne? Why, your ping is also like fucking crazy. It's like almost 250 right now. You might need to restart your shit. of some like a cool smoke lineup idea for uh, 
I mean, theoretically, it's possible, Boost, but I mean, yeah, a full second worth of delay would be brutal. I mean, that'd be completely unplayable. Anything over, like, 150 in CS is pretty bad. You didn't see him? How did you not see him? Yeah, same. Yep. Just hold on to her. Well, yeah, that would be pretty brutal. 150 is pretty rough. Yeah, Wayne is staying steady at 250. God damn it. He might need it. You want me to pause so we can restart? Or you can restart your game, Wayne? I mean, 250 sucks, especially if your frame rate is shitty. Well, it ain't going to take you but a minute to restart. I took a shit for like 15 minutes earlier. Come on, we can. I, it's my turn to take a break. All right, your frames are back. Your ping is still dog shit, though. Because you're usually about 150. Go, go, go! 230. That's, that is rough. One point five million ping? That would be That would be like fifteen minutes. Like that's not even the game would uh, you would get timed out way before that ever happened. Because ping is in milliseconds, so you'd have to do... Divide by a thousand or whatever. To get however many seconds that is, and then do the math from there. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right. It's business time. Now it's time for serious business. Tired of dying to Wayne. I'm going to kill Wayne. And we're going to win the game.
<laughs> Patriot. He said, if you're, is it time for serious business? Are you going back to the bathroom? <laughs> Hell no, I ain't going back to the bathroom. Holy shit. Speaking of shit, Wayne, that's what you can carry. You can carry a pile of shit right in your hand. <laughs> no, we're not playing again, goddammit. We're going to try one of these other maps. Where are y'all going? Why are you leaving? I can just, I can switch maps from in the server. No, oh, that's all right. Why do I have all these surf maps in my maps? I, I don't play surf. We might have to leave the game because I don't know what the hell this map is called. We go workshop maps, it'll be down at the bottom. There we go. Aim, that's why it was an aim map. That's right, aim caves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's get the boys. Oh my god, Wayne. Uh, Fire, you're going to have to join on me. It's doing that thing where you're like invisible. All right, what do we want to play? We're going to do gun game or death. I feel like deathmatch would be the better. The better game mode. Yeah, we'll do deathmatch. This map is fun as shit. Y'all go like it. Error downloading the radar. There is no connection to the servers. What? That's some horse shit. We ain't got no connection problems. Let's do this and get back in time for chow. Good lord. So this map for deathmatch sucks. Ah, uh, yes, boost, you do. It's a really well designed map. It just sucks for deathmatch. We, as we have discovered.
Oh, uh, definitely fire. I'm not even trying to finish this one. Once. This is definitely a really... I mean, that's why it's an aim map. It's definitely a 1v1 type situation. I think the fact that you can plant the bomb is like just to be cute or whatever. Of like the TNT and all, but yeah, it's definitely like a 1v1 type of map for sure. I think I've got, I've got that one already. This is. Yeah, let's drop out of this one real quick, and then I'll grab one of these, and we'll be good to go. Yeah, that's definitely... It's an it's a 1v1 map, for sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure it treats it like a molly boost, so it would be about two seconds. <laughs> it ain't long. Let's do... Yeah, we'll do nuke first. Nuke town, to be specific. Yeah, it'll it'll get you quick if you stand in it, boost. Well, it's lava. <laughs> he said that's messed up. That lava will kill your ass. What kind of bullshit? Is that? All right. Soon as fires in here, we go death match it up, motherfucker. Better than in real life. I feel like standing in lava would take forever to kill you in real life. I feel like you would actually suffocate before your body gets burnt. Well, it depends on how hot a lava we're talking. We're talking like rolling lava coming out of a uh, volcano. Because you'll just be in that up to your knees and it'll melt your knees until you like slowly sink down into it like quicksand. But I mean, if you fall into a volcano, yeah, you're going to die immediately. But but see, this is some dumb shit. It says error downloading the radar. Well, they have this fucking image. Why wouldn't they just have a default radar on the map? Ooh. Let's roll. Push, push, push. What does this say the map is called? Z? Two. I wonder why it doesn't have the map's name on the little icon. I can fix that later. All right. Good old nuke town. I wonder what the deathmatch spawn points are like. Oh, they are pretty good. Okay. Yeah, tell Malte we're playing a little uh, Newtown action. Complete with chickens. Radioactive chickens! The fire pointed that out earlier. He said, hey, considering this is for nuclear testing... They ain't radioactive chickens yet, but they're going to be.
<laughs> nice fire. Nice shot. Yogi. Stop saying penis. Penis. Fuck. Boost. Ah. Need to watch Rick and Morty. Way to go. They seen a few clips from it. Come on, Wimple, where you at? Oh, put it in the Discord boost. Hell yeah. Yogi, come play Counter Strike. Maybe one day you know, you'll come play. He's like, fuck you. You won't play Dead by Daylight. I'm not playing Counter-Strike with you. like going to I already hate you motherfucker Oh, you don't have to download it, Yogi. But if you want to, you're more than welcome to join us and play. Look at this. We can play all the maps. We're playing Nuketown right now. We're playing Call of Duty. We can play anything. But with the superior gun play of Counter-Strike. Get maps from all the games we like. We can probably download Unreal Tournament maps for this shit. I wonder if we can't download Splitgate maps for <laughs> We should download, we should get zombie mod. 
and then download the fucking uh, Left 4 Dead maps and just play Left 4 Dead inside of Counter Strike. Lucky on that. Oh yeah, zombie mod? That used to be all I played, Fire. Like, the whole reason I got Steam back in like 2006 was to get Counter-Strike Source to play zombie mod. CS Source is a whole different beast, man. Oh, Wayne just needs to not get a kill. <laughs> I like this map. All right, let's try the uh, let's try the shipment one. <laughs> Fuck off, Wayne. We'll go back to it in a little bit. I wish we had three on three so I could test my economy stuff. I also wish Onion was here because he's has a good feel for the balance of it and whatnot. All right. I got to try to see if I remember this map. Let's go. Followed by a Call of Duty type weapon here. We're playing Call of Duty maps. Call of Duty Global Offensive, motherfucker. Chickens and everything. Look at that little health power up. This is straight up Call of Duty right here. But with real guns. Lined up for him, damn it.
Surprisingly, the Call of Duty gun works really well on the Call of Duty map. Well, fuck. Oh. The game's not supposed to be realistic, Boost. The bullets come out of your nose. It's designed that way on purpose. So every shot you take travels in a directly straight line from the center of your screen to the on the um what's the word I'm looking for on the vector that you're aiming and then equates for um the spread of the weapon the accuracy of your movement and the um recoil pattern so that is what allows you to shoot things. So like in Call of Duty, your bullets would hit the back of the forklift, but in reality, in the game, it goes directly out of my nose straight to the crosshair. So your bullets don't come out of the gun at all. Now there's a little you know, flash that makes it look like they do, but that's just a decorative thing. Yep, your bullets come straight from your nose. Yeah, there's nothing about Counter-Strike that is meant to be realistic uh, by any means. It's meant to be, um, it's meant to be super ultra, like, competitive. Like, it, it's built to be an eSport. It's not, it's not built to be any type of realistic in any means. That's why you can, like, stand on top of each other's heads and stuff. a couple of games where the bullets actually come out of the gun. And then I've, ha I've played some games where it depends on what weapon you're shooting. Like Unreal Tournament hitscan weapons are straight out of your nose to the crosshair, but projectile weapons are from the barrel of the gun. If we 
had more people, this would be pretty badass. I mean, I can't remember off the top of my head, Bruce. I know, I mean... I think it split the bullets came out of your gun. Four and 16. Those are some goddamn Call of Duty numbers right there, boy. All right. What was that other map? Oh. Nuketown. Why are we going back to Nuketown? I didn't pick Nuketown. Who picked Nuketown? Hive. Hive. Who wants to play Hive? Wayne wants to play Hive. Who else wants to play Hive? What time is it? 111. It did take us back to Nuketown. I wonder why it did that. I'm down for some hive, but we'd have to uh, restart. Now we fight. Put it in actual wingman mode. Do we want to do hive? A little two on two? Little 2v2?
All right, fire. No worries, bud. There goes our 2v2. I think it might be time to call it for the night then, because my stomach is still kind of... Eh. And I want to work on my... Uh, the overlay, like the observer overlay for 5 on 5. And get that fixed since everything else is working right now. One hour. Take that for an hour. Get glocked. What are we just gonna 1v1 for an hour? I'd fuck you up in a 1v1, boy. You ain't ready. You ain't ready, boy. You ain't ready. Fuck yeah. All right. What are we going to do? There's three of us. I'm telling you, man, I'm over. I'm, yo, I might have to get up off of here. Look here, motherfucker. All right. Don't you yikes, you yikes, these nuts. All right. We're going to get on up out of here. Fuck you! Flat style action. Next Friday, come watch. If you're here, if you're chilling, that's what's coming. 1v2. I don't want a 1v2. I want to go to sleep. That's what I want to do. I want to go... I'm not going to be back until Tuesday. And on Tuesday, we're playing Hi-Fi Rush all goddamn day long. The whole thing. We're going to run through it. Akuza says we can get through it like nine or ten hours. So I'm going to rock that whole game. One shot straight through it. All of it. Birthday present from Charlie. I'm super, uh, super excited about it so that's going to be fun as hell can't wait for that so that's tuesday so friday saturday sunday monday we're going to the lake it's birthday time hell yeah look at this guy thought he was gonna stab me before we got out of the server <laughs> y'all didn't see it on the stream but i just own this motherfucker i got you wayne real quick we'll go real quick 1v1 hold on jump back in here jump back in here I want to try this map. And that is how close the competition this map. Been almost all night long. Great there it is. From both of these guys Where are you at? Get back in here. Booga, booga, booga. He will score solid championship points. Get in here. I got something. I got something for your ass. Not to be today. Something for you. Me and you. One versus one to find out who has got the shots. Who can hit the target correctly? And who has the best shitty James Bond movie Russian accent? Because it's not me. I don't even know what kind of fucking accent. I'm just going all over the place now. Well, yeah, boost, huh? 
You think this is a what do you think this is? That's exactly what's happening. That's right. He's going to witness greatness on his screen right here. Alex on your screen is going to deliver the greatness right here, right now. I don't even know. I guess we would put it in casual. So that way we've just got armor and shit every round. Here it comes right here, right now. Look at that loading message. You don't need to hunt for the enemy. The team with the objective will come to you. If you have a strong position, stand your ground. That is right. Play the clock. Play the bomb. Play the objective. Only hunt for players when it's beneficial to your economy. That's the only thing I'm better than people at, Boost. And I'm damn good at sleeping. I'll sleep like a motherfucker. Fuck yeah, this map, this is the best 1v1 right here. There's no trickery, there's no bullshit, there's no nades. It's just guns and just shooting. Find out who is the better shot. This is our fight. You mean this map sucks? It's not about the map. It's about who you said 1v1. Well, it's 1v1, son. Terrorists win. Terrorists win. Oh, and it even spawns us in different spots. Well, you've got 200. See, you just got out. Shoot. Fine, we'll do we the other fucking today. map. Win. See, there you got one. Now is the terrorists win. Let us go. Do the other. Move it, move it. What? I'll put it back on that map, boy, and I'll put you down another hundred times. Bam! Right? Can you tell I'm getting tired? <laughs> I'll put that shit right in your dome. God damn it! Now Skull's here. Are you kidding me? We're playing a 1v1 so we can get the fuck off because I'm going to go to bed. I want to get off of here. No, don't get in here right now. Fuck. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. I got. I need to go. I got to get the fuck off of here. Sleepy. Tired. One v one, casual mode. No skull. Me and you, one on one. That's it. that's what's happening. Just no, Damien. No, why? Fuck. Does Damien, if Damien want to play? God damn it. We can do fine. I mean, I would boost, but I, I mean, I don't really know who that is. 
Every time I've ever raided like somebody, like a friend or whatever, somebody was like, "Oh, hey, raid my friend," and I do it, like I either get no response or like they're like getting off for the night. It's just never been good. <laughs> and plus, I think Yogi is streaming, and Tamali is also streaming. Skull is here. Well, I mean, is Damien you go play? Grab your gear and let's go. It's up to you. map buddy's in here competitive there we go all right two on two but you better get ready to get fucked up Only a true gamer knows the power of the luchador. I can't hear shit in this thing. <laughs> That's right. The almighty luchador. I'm about to take my shirt off and do the whole gimmick. I can't hear shit. Oh, you think you're gonna kill me? Yeah, you're gonna kill you. Jump off the roof, yeah. All right, it's too fucking hot and I can't hear shit. Let's do it. Grab your gear and let's go. One there. Both there.
Damn it. Nice shot. Bang. Nice, Danny. Jay, you can get in here and play some CS. Ah, they're both there. Grab that up for me if you can. Just drop your gun. There you go. And then I'll get you a uh, get you an M4. There you go. Thank you. Come on, Jay. Come play some CS. Incendiary. Get shot. Oh. What the fuck? Yeah, he can see your barrel sticking out there, Damien. So they have a fuckload of money now. Uh, <laughs> Damn. All right, yeah, I got to save on this one. All right, we got our money back. <laughs> they should have enough money to buy still this round, though. Go, go, go! Almost. Good try. All right. We're still all right. Oh, damn. It's doing a full game. I just realized that. Hang on.
All right, this is the last round of the half, so spend all your money. No. <laughs> All right, we got the lead going into the half. Yes, sir. Wayne wanted this smoke. He's getting this smoke. All right, T side. We're gonna do this business. We go handle it. Yep, we're gonna handle it. We're gonna handle this business. Oh yeah. Nice, nice. I do believe he had an upgraded pistol if you want it. I'm oh, sorry, we're all good here. We're all good here. It, like up top. No, I'm in on top of me, <laughs> but never mind. <laughs> I want to let me do my damn spray. Notice the real slight scent floating through the air. Go, go, go. That smell is what the rock is cooking.
See, Wayne over here saying one more game, one more game, saying, nah, bro, I want to go to sleep. This is what happens. <laughs> Remember, keep Me and Damien handle that business. Nice. Short, short taps, short taps when you're at a distance with an SMG. The big guns will get you every time. Still win here. We can still win. We can still get the victory. Huh, this still seems like a good idea, right, guys? I throw the flashback. Boy. Ho oh, ho, okay. <laughs> that was close. Oh, I was gonna buy you a gun so you could buy armor, Damien. Damn. You guys ready for this? Hell yeah, Jay. It sounds like fun, man. No, it's just a fun game. Gun game and deathmatch and shit are where it's at. And then we do our little, you know, two on twos, three v threes like this. It's fun. We don't, we don't fuck with people online. We ain't, we ain't about all of that. Oh well, that didn't go where I wanted, Damien. Sorry.
Fuck. It's all right. We only need one more. Damon, you got this. Oh, you had him. Oh, <laughs> shit. All right. We got the victory right here. The final round. We either win or it's a tie. We got this. Because if it's a tie, we'll have to play again, and that's not allowed. We have to win so I can go to bed. We got to move, guys. The guy's out. God damn it. I don't want to play. Fuck you, Wayne. Still out fragged you. <sighs> All right. That's a great, that's a great, uh, great, great night. That's a great way to finish it off. I am getting out of here. Exactly. Exactly. All right, man. Y'all have a good weekend. Me and Charlie are going to the lake. It's going to be fun. Can't wait. I'm excited. See you guys on the flip side. We're going to play some high five rush on Tuesday. It's going to be great. I can't wait. We'll play through the whole thing. It's going to be awesome. I'm very excited. Y'all be safe out there. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Be 31, man. This is my year. It's my number. 31, baby. It's here. It's time. It's happening. It's going to be sick. I'm excited. And we're going to drink. Get fucked up. And we're going to play games. And the shit's going to be dope. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, man. I've been Alex. I've been on your screen. I'm going to be a year older next time you see me. But I'm still going to be on your screen. Your screen's not going to be a year older. Just me. Just going to be an old man over here and shit. And uh, we'll pick it up next time. Y'all take it. Look at this right here. Look at this. Champions. Champions. Look at Wayne grinding all up on his shit. Look at that. Champions. Gonna driving it in there, all the way up, front wheel. Oh, yeah, all the way in there. Boom! Shoved his ass into the wall like an asshole. Look at this guy. <laughs> God, how could you do that to somebody? Brand new slide style driver, too, and you just grind their ass into the wall. I mean, come on. We're going to look at the replay. We're going to take a look at this replay. Beautiful start. Awesome initiation of the first turn. Just grinding right up on the side of that Monavaka. And then they get into the turn right here. And then you'll see he just goes whack straight into the wall. Look at this. Pow. Look at that. 
And he didn't let up at all. Stays in front. And I think that move right there is what got my man the win. He didn't get the win. Malte won. <laughs> but it got you the win in that round. All right. Getting off of here. Peace out. I'm not, I, no, I'm not trying to drag back all through it and figure that out, Skull. I'm getting off of here. I'm going to go work on stuff for a little bit, wind down, go to bed, and get all packed up and ready to go tomorrow. I got to deal with these dogs. It's going to be a pain in the ass. So y'all take it easy. Peace out. I'll see y'all next time. Love y'all. No, 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 no,